Hello YouTube and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well, today we're going mono red, but a little bit different than an aggro deck. We got vampires and werewolves on the ground. We got dragons in the air. We're playing mono red mid range. But before we get into today's deck, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Not only does it help support me, but the channel as well and gets us out to a much bigger audience. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know exactly when new content comes out. So let's get into today's deck. Like I said, it is red mid-range and so the first thing we're going to talk about is our removal spells we have two copies of frostbite four copies of dragon's fire and double duty on land and removal we're going to be running four copies of shatter skull smashing next we're going to go into kind of our draw card kind of our ramp card and that's two copies of orb of dragon kind i'm sure you've seen it before but it's only a two cost artifact that ramps us by one for dragons or we can pay one and sack it look at the top seven cards of our deck reveal a dragon put it in our hand so on turn three we're putting out a four drop dragon on turn four we can put out a five drop dragon and then late game we can sacrifice it and we can go ahead and find another dragon to start attacking again with then let's get into our early game drops we have four copies of falcon wrath pit fighter one red for a 2-1 vampire warrior pay one colorless and a red discard a card sacrifice a vampire draw two cards activate only if an opponent lost life this turn you're not going to be doing that very often but it is an option in the deck so remember it does have the ability and we do have four more vampires to support that which is our stingers one red for a 1-1 one, one vampire warrior and i really like this a lot it's it's inexpensive 1-1 one, one, and whenever it attacks it has first strike you can pay one red and two colorless and give it plus two plus oh until end of turn uh it still helps kill creatures when it's defending if they're bigger than you you can kill a werewolf a 3-3 werewolf pack leader stuff like that of course you're going to lose your creature as well but there's a lot of versatility in the card and i really like that and then lastly we're going to have two copies of magda brazen outlaw once again it's just a way to help us ramp and if our opponent doesn't end up stopping magda anytime soon we don't end up needing the treasure tokens well then we have a whole bunch of dragons we can sacrifice those treasure tokens to and go and get ourselves a free dragon then rounding out right in the middle our three drop we have four copies of reckless storm seeker this is one of my favorite cards from the new set, especially one of my favorite cards from the new set that is an aggro card, feeds into mono red, gruel, a lot of different things. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's one red, two colors for a two, three. It has day bound on the front side. At the beginning of combat on your turn, it gives a creature plus one, plus zero oh in haste, which is amazing because it does it to itself. And then the turns after that, you're going to be giving it to your dragons. And then the backside does pretty much the same thing, except it's plus two, plus zero oh haste and trample then how are we taking advantage of reckless storm seeker well we're taking advantage of it with four copies of moonvale regent three copies of leyline tyrant and four copies of goldspan dragon just a really really fun group of dragons to have in your deck um definitely make sure you're taking advantage of whenever you cast a spell you may discard your hand if you do draw a card for each of that spell's colors because it doesn't matter if you have no cards left in your hand you're still going to be drawing a card uh you're, if you have cards in your hand and they're dead too many lands anything like that you're going to just filter those out get a new uh hand a new card to play really 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 strong creature in my opinion leyline tyrant definitely make sure at the end of every one of your opponent's turns if you have any red mana left you're tapping that mana out because it's just going to sit in your pool so that leyline tyrant can hit your opponent or one of their creatures for a whole bunch of damage late in the game other than that the deck runs fairly straightforward you're just using all of your removal spells when needed only if you need them to keep the board clear attacking with your early game creatures killing your opponent later on use these as chump blockers attacking with the relentless and then attacking with all of your dragons at haste speed lastly we have our lands we have four copies of den of the bugbear 13 snow covered mountains and four faceless havens so as you'll see, your opponent is going to be trying to board wipe you a lot or taking out all your creatures. And Den of the Bugbear, Faceless Haven are both just really good ways to keep pressure on the opponent and just finish out games. So that's the deck. We got a couple of games on the play. It was doing pretty good. So then we go ahead and take it out on the ladder. You're definitely going to want to see all those. Wait around for the summary at the end. And without further ado, let's go ahead now and get into the gameplay. Joe Bungalow. <laughs> let's fight we go first we got two lands plus a pit fighter frostbite stinger storm seeker and a regent moonville regent this is a good hand as long as we draw into a few more hands let's get the let's get the stinger out for first strike because we don't know what our opponent's up to there we go into a sentinel 
Another land is exactly what I wanted to see. We don't want them ramping. I don't like it, but I'm just going to frostbite that immediately into a pit fighter. Swing on in for one. I wish I could have saved that, but we can't have them ramping up super hard. And we're not going to be able to kill something with the three defense for a while, because if this would have been um, a snow-covered mountain, I would have saved it. So they're staring at our pit fighter. Probably going to throw a werewolf down. Lotus Cobra is the play, huh? Okay. So we're going to throw land. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Into uh, Reckless Storm Seeker. Give itself some haste. We're going in. If they want to block our pit fighter, that's fine. Nope, they're going to take the whole lot of it. Down to 13. I think they can chariot here. They do have Chariot, we have the Dragon's Fire and a Moonvale Regent, which will have, you know, enough damage to kill the Chariot when they activate it. Okay. So, we can't throw the Moonvale Regent yet, so that doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and throw out the Pit Fighter. We'll give it plus one in haste. And we're swinging in with everything. So they'll fire up the chariot. I don't want them even making any blocks. We'll reveal a dragon. Shoot you. Reveal you. Submit you. I want all this damage getting through. So we'll just take that out. <laughs> yes, that's how you beat a chariot deck. Game Lord. <laughs> I like it. Looks like Game Lord going first. We have four lands into a Magda, into a Reckless, into a Moonvale. Let's go ahead and keep it. Let's see what Game Lord's up to. Looks like we're going to be playing against a control deck. Let's find out. Play pass. Land. Oh, no. Into Fortel. So we are going to be getting um, Doom Scarred soon. Or it's a counter spell or a draw spell. We don't know. We just don't know. Let's put out another land. Um, I mean, if it is a counter, we got to just keep going anyways. We have tons of creatures. So let's go ahead and just throw out the Reckless Storm Seeker. Let them counter spell it. No? Okay. So maybe it's a draw spell? Go ahead and put that on the Reckless Storm Seeker. Let's get in. Most likely won't be throwing any more creatures anytime soon in case that is a Doom Scar. I don't want to walk into a three creature wipe. I'd rather just two at a time and we'll just keep hitting them until they do something. So uh, the best thing we can draw is probably another land so we can start activating either the Faces Haven or the den of the bugbear and start attacking them. That's the game plan at the moment. Game Lord considers a card and decides it is good enough to go to the hand. This could be a Doom Scar now. So they pass and send us to nighttime. We'll throw down a land. You know what? I have two Moonvale Regents and a Leyline Tyrant still. This gets us a lot of draw late game. This is just whatever. I think I changed my mind. We're going to try to bait out a counter spell. Otherwise, we're just going to hit him for a bunch of damage this turn. And I'm okay with uh, losing this to a Doom Scar. Okay, so it is Disdainful Stroked. We'll go ahead and get in. Doesn't matter where we put it. We'll put it on you. Swing on in. Get another treasure token. And, I, and end the turn. I mean, at this rate, we only need a few more, right? Five? We need two more. Two more treasure tokens. We're getting a free... Free dragon. Teferi coming in. Don't worry. I face scarier villains. So they are gonna plus Teferi. They're gonna untap their land, so they have two land now. Or a few. Let's go ahead and see if uh we can frostbite one of these. 
We have three snow lands. Let's see if they take the bait or if they counter spell. Oh, they don't have a counter spell. You won't know when. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the Moonvel Regent. Do they have a counter spell? Oh, it's disdainful stroke. Okay. So let's put the put it on you. And you are going here, and you are going here. Get ourselves another treasure token. Take them down to five. Take to to ferry out of the game. Know if you're up for round two. And the turn. <laughs> Next turn, I can attack for four, three with the den because of the treasures plus the one token. So we'll bring them down to one. So that's fine. We'll take the doom scar. Oh, perfect, perfect. Um, so I don't think it matters if we take life at this point that way we're not using treasure tokens so we'll pay the three life we're gonna go ahead and get in with this here den of the bugbear boom 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 down to one and the turn <laughs> see what game lord's got can they kill the token and have another blocker and or stop that we'll see they've got what do they got here they got three four five six so they can't fire this up Okay, we're just gonna do what we tried. To, we're just see if, see if they can stop this. I don't think. I think we got it. Creature lands. They just control decks and creature lands. That's how you beat them. We got J Way. J Way. Okay, we go first. We have two real lands and a Shatter Skull, Pit Fighter, Frostbite, Leyline Tyrant, Gold Span. So we're going to be keeping that. Obviously, we'll lead with the Snow Covered Mountain. And we'll be going into a Pit Fighter. Boom. Opponent takes a mulligan down to six. J Way shows us white, just white. Um, okay, so we're going. Faceless Haven into Orb, swinging in for two, passing it back. And we we got a Leyline Tyrant coming out next turn. What are you doing? Um, enters the battlefield. You may search your library for a Plains card. Reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle Coven Transform. Lifelink 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So this is two mana of any color combination. So let's go ahead and put this out. Oops, hold on, hold on. We'll throw the Leyline Tyrant. And I think it's worth swinging in for two if they want to block. I think that's fine. We're an aggro deck. Skyclave app coming down. Okay. We can frostbite that later. For now, we're going to throw this out. Pay three life. Throw out the gold span. They can't do that to us again. Let's go ahead and swing in with the gold span. Let's shoot it back to J Way. I didn't want to use the um, the mana from this for the stinger because I want to hold up the frost bite. Another ambitious farmhand. Okay. They're getting all their all their planes. So next turn they can board wipe us if they're playing. Oh, I don't think they're playing board wipes. This would be too many creatures in this deck. It just doesn't make sense. So they're going to go ahead and swing in now. So we'll, we'll go ahead now. We'll just frostbite the um, Skyclave Apparition. Get ourselves a 4-4 on the board. Another Stinger. Um, let's go ahead and attack with everything. I'm going to block the 4-4, four, four, and then I can't imagine they're running board wipes. I just don't see it happening, but let's just, let's throw one of these out because that's all we need really, well, that's all we really need for lethal per se. We can get another dragon with this, and we have a faceless haven. I just don't know if I'm overextending. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. End the turn. Ren and seven. Okay. It's not a bad grab at all. They're gonna create a token. Come, seven. Of course. The trees can fight their own battles. 
Okay, let's go ahead and pop this now. I wish I would have left mana a little differently. Maybe I should have used the treasure. Oh, there's the gold span. We're definitely grabbing it. Can we play it? We cannot. We cannot play the gold span this turn. We can throw it next turn. We're swinging with everything. And we're going right at him. I'm going to take out our gold span. So let's go ahead and activate that. And let's go ahead and activate that. If they don't want to block, then I guess we'll just win the game. <laughs> got a math better than that, J-Way. We got there. <laughs> what do we got? Khalil. That's what I'm going with. Let's go, opponent. Opponent goes first. We got three lands. A Frostbite, Dragon's Fire, Reckless, Stormseeker, and a Leyline Tyrant. So we have things to kill creatures. Then go haste, haste. So it's not a bad hand. We'll hold on to it. Keep. Oh, then we'll throw that den of the bugbear out we just drew. So they're on Golgari. Which means they're going to have a bunch of removal. Prosperous innkeeper coming down. We're just going to eliminate it immediately. Just keep their board clear. Use our mana. Another den of the bugbear. Okay. Pass it back. Shambling Ghast is the play. Okay. Um, if I do this now, they can't block this. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot it now. They don't have anything they can do. Okay. So they couldn't draw cards. That's nice. Go ahead and throw out... A snow covered mountain into a reckless storm seeker. Swing on in with it. If they have removal, it's not instant speed because they had three mana open. Binding the old gods is coming down. Okay. Boo. And they have Field of Ruin to take out one of our dens, but we have two dens. We have a faceless haven. We'll go ahead and throw out another snow covered mountain into a leyline tyrant. Pass turn. Blood Chief Thirst. Decline. We don't have any mana. Prosperous Innkeeper. Okay, they're down to one card. Let's throw this down. Let's get a Leyline Tyrant out again. Let's get the Stinger out. Now, next turn, we can activate a Creature Land. Swing with Leyline. Swing with the Stinger. And hopefully, they can only have so much removal in their hand, right? So let's go ahead and put this out. We'll, uh, th they're going to immediately, this is f first strike. So let's go ahead and activate this. They're going to use a field of ruin. Yep. And we can keep getting through. We, they have two fields, but we have three creature lands. We'll grab a snow covered mountain and we'll swing on in. We got the first strike on the stinger. Nope. Okay, so they're just going to take it. We end the turn. Shambling gas. Not a problem. That's going to end up taking out the stinger. So we'll just tap this red mana and take our turn. So let's uh, make them do it again. Let's make them do it again. Let's make them do it again. Yeah, let's activate the den of the bugbear. Here comes the field of ruin. Resolves. Grab ourselves a red. Uh, 
No point frostbiting the Shamlin Gas because I just minus one it. So at least this way we don't lose. Like they're still going to have to do it. So we'll go ahead and just. When that happens, they're going to minus it. And we end the turn after we smack them for four. So we can still do four to them if they kill the Leyline Tyrant. Here comes an eye twitch. Whoops. Well, at the end of their turn, we're definitely going to be shooting that. We want to get in for the damage. So let's go ahead and frostbite the eye twitch. And then we'll just go ahead and float this red mana. Ooh, they're gonna extinction it. We take our turn. Ooh, Moonvale. So they're gonna exile it anyway, so we might as well Moonvale. And then we will go ahead and activate you. Faceless Haven. We're gonna go ahead and swing in with both. And then we'll go ahead and Dragon's Fire. We can decline that. The Prosperous Innkeeper take the action get ourselves another card shoot that and hit our opponent for eight boom down to two so they're gonna exile something that's fine we have two they have to have two removals and gelatinous cube oh they actually can get around both that's funny okay okay well they're gonna have to block with gelat they either have to eat this or we get our creature back right and then they're top decking. So we draw a card. Be a okay, we're good. We're in a good spot here. I like it. So first things first, we swing in. Cool. I'll take it. Now we get our Tyrant back. And then we just end the turn. Because now, unless they exile it, we can just shoot them for two. We got it right here. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Wow, nice rip. Okay. So we're going to throw the Magda, a Stinger, and another Stinger. So they, they've got to find a lot of removal here. They're just going to eat our Leyline Tyrant right now. Can they? It costs four. One to fire it up. Plus, yeah, they have plenty. They have, it's all of it, but... They'll eat it. They had nothing else to do. I think that was a good play on the opponent. Calling. Wow. There we go. I feel like we deserved that. I feel like we deserved that. Wow. Get out of here. Oh. Good game. Okay, Brew Crew, that's going to do it for Mono Red Midrange. And, uh, you know, to me, this is one of those decks, once again, you're going to take out when you need to cast a certain amount of red cards, or you're just trying to complete a daily quest that, you know, this will satisfy, or something like that. This isn't top tier deck at all. I think it's tier 3, tier 4, but it's a blast to play. I see Mono Red you pique my interest. I see mono red with a bunch of dragons, you pique my interest even more. And if you're anything like me, then I knew I had to bring you this deck so you could see it. But don't go crafting a whole bunch of cards if you don't own them for this deck. Because like I said, overall, I think this is more of a fun deck. Don't be trying to climb the ladder with it extremely heavily. If you are like me and you want to try out every deck you see, let's at least go over what you should or shouldn't be crafting and, and go from there. So first off, um, I think that the Shatter School Smashings are safe to craft because they're land, and I always feel that way about lands. Orb of Dragonkind, I don't think you should ever be crafting these. If you own them, give them a whirl, but they're just too situational in my opinion. The Falcon Wrath Pit Fighters, I, I don't know. Mono Red isn't really a big thing right now. They do squeeze into a few decks I've played here and there, but I don't think it's a safe craft right now. Definitely save your wild cards in my opinion there. Magda Brazen Outlaws, I think that one's pretty safe. Those, are, It's a super strong creature. Go ahead and craft away there on my opinion. The Reckless Storm Seekers, Safe Craft, Craft Away. Moonvale Regent, I think, is an extremely strong character. I don't know if many decks will be seeing three or four. Maybe people stop playing this. At the moment, I think it's worth crafting. But buyer beware. Be careful. Make sure that you like decks that play this kind of card. You're playing a lot of red before you just craft it. But I like it a lot. Leyline Tyrant, don't 
don't craft that if you don't own them if you own them good gold span dragon craft away craft away and then lands like i said earlier with the shatter school smashing are always safe so the den of the bugbears the faceless havens i think those are safe to use your wild cards on and now i didn't really go over any changes on the deck because of the fact that in my opinion this deck could be better but the way to make this better deck better is probably to splash in some green probably be getting rid of some of these lower end red creatures leaving in the magdas putting in some sentinels and just maybe even another dragon that's green just trying to ramp it up a little faster a little harder and i think that's the way this deck needs to go but i like to try them all so i had to try this out i wanted to make sure you saw the deck as well so leave us a comment down below letting us know what you thought about this deck letting us know if there's anything else you want to see don't forget to hit that subscribe button it really really helps me out helps out the channel gets us out to a much bigger audience and then as always until next time have a blast in the arena